Hello, there's a lot of misinformation about how the math of a low appraisal works. I'd actually call it rampant misinformation because people who are highly skilled, highly competent, and have years of experience in this industry still believe that if an appraisal comes in low, then the buyer has to bring in the difference between the purchase price and the appraised value. That is simply mathematically wrong. So here's how it works. Here's how the real math works. Fundamentally, it's not a subtraction equation. It's just not. So let's jump in. Okay, so here is an example. For example, this first column is what happens if the appraisal comes in at value. So we've got a million dollar purchase price and a million dollar appraised value. The buyer is coming in with 25% down. So we have a down payment of 250 and a loan amount of 750. In this scenario, here's what your monthly payment would be. Today's rates at 6.625 would have a cost of a half. And so then total closing costs, prepaids, and then their total cash to close. Now, what happens if the, if the appraisal comes in at 937,500? Now, if we go a million minus 937,500, according to the, to the 22 AD, the buyer would need to bring an additional $62,500 to closing. No, because check it out, 750 is 80% of 937,500. So the only thing that changes is that the LTV on the loan goes from 75 to 80. Your down payment still stays 250. Your loan amount still stays 750. The closing costs go up a tiny bit by three eighths, just because that's the pricing difference between 25% down, or rather between a 75% LTV and an 80% LTV. Keep in mind, down payment is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about LTV. So LTV shifts from 75 to 80, even though our down payment stays the same. Slight pricing difference. Payment stays identical. Closing costs go up a tiny bit because of this pricing difference. Cash to close goes up. Okay, so you can say the buyer needs to bring in more money, but the buyer would need to bring in three-eighths of the, the rate. Like this is nominal compared to the fear that is um, struck into the hearts of people. Okay, now let's take it one step further. Let's say the appraisal comes in at 882. Bah, you would think, oh my God, we have a devastating situation here. If we have, we have our purchase price at a million, but now 750 is 85% of 882. So we're still just at 85% LTV. The only difference here is that now we have $62 a month in mortgage insurance. Please know that the MI calculators online are generally inaccurate for the buyer situation. Have them priced out by a professional. This is assuming two buyers with good credit would give you a uh, mortgage insurance of $62 a month in this scenario. So you can see the payment goes up a tiny bit. There's no price change from 80 to 85. So then closing costs are identical cash to close is identical. So here in this scenario, let's just do this little calculation together. We've got a million dollar purchase price, an appraised value of 882,353. Our appraisal came in $117,000 low, and there's no additional funds required by the buyer. Now, if the buyer wanted to bring in additional funds in order to avoid this mortgage insurance, they certainly can, in which case, right, we would go, we have an appraised value of 882,353 times 0.8. So we would need to bring the loan amount down to 705,888, 750 minus 705, so minus 750. And the buyer would need to bring in additional $44,000 in order to bring the LTV to 80 to avoid this $62 in mortgage insurance. That would be an option or they could not and just do the 62. So, um, or they could not do the 62 and buy the MI out altogether. And that would just be a few thousand dollars. So as you can see, in, let's say you're writing this offer and the buyer says, I'm okay 
with this payment versus this payment, then you could write in a 22 AD of $117,000 and you would not be obligating the buyer to any additional funds. Pretty cool, huh? That's how the math of a low appraisal works. If someone is putting the minimum percent down on their loan program and the appraisal comes in low, then yes, they will need to bring in additional funds to make that loan amount an acceptable LTV to the appraised value. But again, it is never simple subtraction. It is always a multiplication problem. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to run scenarios for your buyer, your situation. Reach out with questions. Ciao.